Hey everybody, James Madison Audits here, and today we're going to be talking about a house bill. It's House Bill 7125 out of Florida that couples with the Florida statutes for theft and the driver's license statute, uh, H12014, H120155, and 322055. Those statutes right there all kind of join together to allow the prosecutor, or actually not the prosecutor, the state, to suspend your driver's license if you've been convicted of theft, grand theft, and even just petty theft is what it is. So there's, uh, I'm going to put a link in the description of these statutes in this house bill. It is a lot of read, but the summary of it is, is that if you are convicted of one of those, there's no longer the ability to suspend your driver's license. Now, full disclaimer, this video is not here for you to be able to go commit theft and know that you're not going to have consequences to it. It's just to let you know that the state can't overreach its grasp in going after your driver's license and that. You still have all the penalties of being convicted of it, except for you just can't have your license suspended. Now, where this is coming up is if you look at the statute here, there's at the very bottom of 812.014, it's under the section 2 down at the bottom under B. And it says, in addition to the penalties prescribed in paragraph 3, every judgment of guilty of petty theft for property described in this subsection shall provide the, for the suspension of the convicted person's driver's license. The court shall forward, and when you have the word shall in there, there's no discretion in it. Shall means you must. The court shall forward the driver's license to the Department of Highway Safety Motor Vehicles in accordance with 322.25. The first suspension of a driver's license under the subsection shall be for six months. The second is one year. And then a person who individually or in concert with one or more persons coordinates the activities of one or more persons committing theft on the section where stolen property has a value in excess of $3,000 commits a felony in the first, uh, second degree. That really doesn't apply to your driver's license, but it's it's kind of like in the very end of that statute right there. So under B1 and 2, that is where it indicates there's a suspension. So prosecutors have been still suspending driver's license even after this house bill is there. And what I recommend doing is if you have had this happen to you and your attorney did not find this, what you probably need to do is contact him or her and let them know that there was a... Uh, a house bill that was filed that says, no, you can't suspend driver's license. And again, that's House Bill 7125. What they would end up doing there is like a reversal of your judgment or your reversal of your, your penalties and get that driver's license suspended if it's been less than that six months. If it's over six months, you may be able to get some of those fees back. This is not legal advice. I don't even know what they would do. Uh, most of the time when you have something, you pay something in the state, they rarely refund it. Even if they're an error on that, they do not refund it. But it's really recommended that you reach out to your attorney if your driver's license is suspended and that the fact that you had that after 2019, I think it was filed around April 11th of 2019. So if you had one this year or any time after that this was uh, set into play, then I would recommend you contacting your attorney there and seeing if they can do that reversal for you. So I'll put all the links in the description here. If you like more of this content right here, check out jmonnets.com. I know you guys like helping out. I put some links in the description if you do want to help out with uh, getting back on the road, going out. They help out even an Amazon link that allows you to just click it, order something, and then we get a little portion of that sent back to us as a referral fee. So I want to thank you guys for watching this video. If you have any questions, send them to me. You can put them down in the comments. That's going to be the fastest way. And then check out jmonnets.com. This story will be on there as well, linking everything so that you can get these links and the text in this. I'll see you again soon.